before we do any kind of coughing and uh, that kind of nonsense, I'm going to introduce our first two players playing for Gravity Gaming. It is none other than Krios. And I've already broken that rule, so I apologise, uh, Team Gravity. And after the start playing for Eternal Dreamers, we have none other than Macromaster. Now, Akalon Waste. Ah, let's, 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 not, let's ignore the map shenanigans for now. Yes, guys, um, this is Poison TV. I am from England. I'm from the South Coast. My name is Dom. I've been casting for quite a while now. I have a brilliant team behind me. I am the manager of Poison Arts, and I am the manager of Poison TV. I tend to do all the North American stuff. But nonetheless, do check out all the content throughout the week. The rest of the guys are absolutely fantastic when they are awake. Um, tonight you have me and Alex. Alex is moderating. Go Alex. And uh, he does a fantastic job as well. He's an amazing producer. But look at this. Already from Macro Master, we have our first variation. We have a nine pool coming down. So we're going to see some very early aggression. Uh, one of the players who is very fond of this is actually Namshar. But we do have Macro Master throwing down that very, very early gas. So um, uh, we'll have to see if... Of course, our friend Krios is going to be going for that 15 pool or a hatch first. 15 pool would be the preferred option here because it would give him a bit more of a fighting chance. But um, yes, he will indeed have to. Yes, cancel that hatch if he does go down. Anyway, we do see a 15 pool for our friend Krios coming down to the Macro Master. Um, <laughs> Yeah, not opting for gas, actually just using the extractor trick there. Here comes the Overlord, and we have six lings coming out already. So he's Matt kind of got a nice established kind of a backbone ling. He's not going super hardcore just yet, but he is going to have some lings, and he's going to be putting on some aggression right now. So here we go, eight lings coming out, and... Uh, oh, okay, Caster's Sergi one. There we go. Um, so kicking off anyway so uh, yeah we do uh, have the pool coming down now we have the hatchery coming down now and now we have a gas so here's kind of a Krios is going for the standard and he sees the Zergon come instantly instantly like a I don't know bullet coming out of a gun with a spine crawler coming down into the mineral line and uh, there we go getting my camera controls back yeah spine crawler so if this goes down he will be in a far better shape than he was as I say there is a hatchery coming down so this is just a bit of a light pressure hatchery does get uh, cancelled as well. Now we've got the drone cat, it's currently 15 to 12 right now. And there we go, Lings are out and he's going for the spine crawler. Um, but we do see Krios getting quite a nice little quite a, quite a nice little surround here and he's just gonna hold this and he's gonna be fine. But um, of course he is taking that earlier gas right now. But behind this uh, we do see Macro Massa taking no gas right now. So um yeah he's not going fully all in he's just using it as an opportune opportune moment to drone. Um, of course, uh, Krios can have speed a lot earlier, has the option to throw down a bailing nest. Could just go for a hatch, put on a bit of pressure, uh, which I, we're definitely going to see some sort of counter swing coming out of this. But um, I mean, I do like this from Macro Master. I always a fan in CVZ. Um, I say I was talking about Nam Shot earlier. He's one of these players who loves to open up speed, then hatch, because you get to put on a little bit of pressure. And certainly it isn't an all in. You just kind of sacrifice one round of lava to do it. Second queen is going to come down. There you go. There's the bailing there. So we're definitely going to see some further aggression out of. Uh, not further, we're going to see a retaliation from Krios right now, as soon as speed comes in, do like Macro Master, he has got a nice little surround here, kind of reminds me of the Brood or Dave, where you need to kind of like set up a concave around the bottom of someone's ramp, um, Queen coming in to try and shoot this way, but Macro Master at the moment playing quite nicely, kind of 18 drones to 16, 17 right now, um, but he hasn't got any gas whatsoever, which is slightly worrying, because we do have Banelings on the way, and they are going to have something to say about this, but Krios actually just clearing up all of these Zerglings and not really paying attention there by Macro Master. Um, two Queens out now, more Zerglings on the way and I think Macro Master... I I'm not sure really what his plan is, he's going to ride purely on spine crawlers right now. He's going to have to get wall off of your Queens definitely for sure because as soon as these, if these Zerglings get into the main he's going to be in a whole world of pain right now. Um, double spine crawler is going to be very very useful. We've got a Queen on the bottom as well, it's falling out of a wall here, just in case they do decide to run away. I'm hoping that the overlay has switch, not switch. There we go. Have a look. There we go. Yes, indeed. So, out of this, yeah, we have the Zerglings running on in now, going straight into the natural and macro master in a little bit of trouble right now. We don't have any speed for him whatsoever. We have an evolution chamber coming down behind this as well for Krios, but as I say, the main problem right now is the fact that Macro Master, he's just 
just being contained. I mean, the hatchery is well protected by these spankles right now, but he has opted to pick one up there. Could give Krios a little bit of a window, but they say he's just droning very, very hard behind this right now, and still no gas from Macromaster whatsoever. So I'm not quite sure what he's actually planning to do. I think he's just massing up on pure queen and slowlings right now, which is a very peculiar style of play. Um, and he can't even inject right now because obviously all his queens are at the bottom. They're just gathering up energy. In fact, I'm really not sure what's going on. Um, it kind of reminds me of a variation of the kind of you get a lot of queens, you don't go gas, um, you get a lot of drones, and then you go into 2-2, two, two, almost like 2 base Ling Ultra. There we go, double gas killing down now, finally establishing his gas count. And, uh, wow. I mean, Kraos is in a good shape, I would say. It's 32 to 25 right now on the drone count. He's got gas and teching away, and this is the key thing. He's getting that gas. We've got plus one uh, a range attack with Roach Warren as well, so we definitely see some sort of Roach play as well from our friend Krios, who's playing for Team Gravity. And oh, there we go. So, yeah, Macromaster is, is going for that kind of like, I'm going to turtle up on kind of uh, queens and evolution chambers and wall in and be very safe. Um, generally, I've seen two responses to this one is you do a Nidus into the back. Um, the other one is that you just take a very fast third, you tech up and you get a huge economy because obviously speed is very prevalent in taking map control in ZVZ. Anyway, so uh, there you go, there's an evolution chamber, what will he go for? Will it be go for a Ling style or will he go for um, some sort of roach play? There, there you go, there's the roach warren, so I think we are going to be seeing some sort of roach play. No upgrade starting yet though, because he just doesn't have the gas for anything right now. Not even speed, there we go, there's the first one. 1-1, one, one. so we're going to have 1-1 one, one roaches um, and Macromaster poking up with the queens right now which he's been saving up this whole time maybe actually going for that 2 base um, Ling uh, roach style Krios poking in now with his overseer wants to see exactly what's going on but it does get killed off there very very quickly and now Krios just wow, he's just macroing really, he's just, he's just established himself quite well. I'm sorry he's uh, bemused as I am with the lack of gas. So he didn't actually go into the main to scout it. We've got Roach Speed finally finishing up as well. And Macro Master is trying to establish his third. And actually, I say, you know, he's in a bad shape. He's not in that bad a shape, actually. He's only six drones behind, well, eight drones behind right now. We've got some roaches in production as well. And we have a big round of drones actually for him there. The injects are going in quite nicely. And the spine crawlers are going into the front. And he's really kind of turtling up. It's the best way, I suppose it's the best way you can describe a turtle zerg here. It's just like you've got lots of queens, spine crawlers, roaches. And I say Aquilon's is one of those good maps where you can, you can really take advantage of the base positions. And um, Krios, uh, down here, Krios, we see him getting his plus two roach attack. He's not going for that armor. So, kind of got 1 1 versus 2 0. I believe 1 1 actually comes out better due to the fact that uh, the obviously the damage mitigation. And now, look at this, we see an infestation pit coming down. So, maybe some swarm host play or even we may see some investors which are very very prevalent in um, where they used to be in Wings of Liberty kind of that roach infester style um, and yeah at the moment we've got a bit of a stalemate nothing really happening right now I mean we could go see a plus two roach timing when uh, this finishes up here both on three gases as well Overseer poking in for Macro Master he wants to find out what's going on as well and now we see a big chain of drones right now taking him into the drone count lead but of course he doesn't have the army lead right now it's only seven roaches to the 26 of Krios right now and here we go looking to poke on in a lot of slowlings here for uh, Macro Master though but these roaches just going to turn a nice concave setting up here Queen's joining in the fray as well. Will he use it? Yeah, there we go. There's the transfusers going down onto that spine crawler. More units are streaming on in. Ten more roaches for Macromaster. Has he got enough? He's just a concave. Just looks to be too strong. More reinforcements are coming on the way, just streaming across the map right now. But this concave is looking so good. And actually, that spine crawler is really going to town on these roaches now. But I say that concave is just so so strong. Now we go there. The rest of the reinforcements and. You have a look at that, it's still 123 to 104, so Macromaster isn't quite out of this, but 
has to push away this last small portion and you know the question is what will Krios do with this lead will he uh, will he advance will he actually go for another attack or will he use it to establish a fourth we are about to see let's say I, I'm really impressed with Macromaster right now he's actually playing really well considering this all started from a nine pool actually anyway another big concave coming in right now we have a zoom out on the map there we go both players actually getting a semi to concave but of course Krios is the more spherical of the two and we see Macromaster with the concave actually but this top flank actually very very nice there coming in and does actually quite a bit of damage but at the moment the upgrades still 2-0 versus 1-1 we've got plus 2 and burrow on the way for our friend Macromaster as well and Krios is just tiltering on the edge right now we have three bases versus three base very similar economies as well but just that that army supply is just oh so different right now and that hero spine crawler with nine kills on it is really saving the day right now anyway here comes Krios again with another push on 12 more roaches though for macro master and i do that just Krios is just a little bit further than he uh needs to be right now but he's just really using that supply advantage to good effect but he, he's got to reinforce all the way to the other side of the map right now whereas Krios is just reinforcing from his ramp so obviously he's always going to be able to stream just about recover. Now we've got a lot of spine crawlers filling up, which will be very, very handy. And now Krios, yeah, he's looking for that fourth and establishing his own fourth. I think he's realised that he's not going to break this just yet. But um, yeah, he's going to go into kind of a more late game roach v roach scenario is the best way to s describe it and we have infestors on the way because we see pathogen glands coming down from macromaster and plus one armor coming down for our friend Krios. now we have the hydrodus upgrade coming down as well and of course um hydras in the uh well, Hydras are absolutely fantastic, provide great DPS, but of course they need that big Zerg buffer, which we see Krios currently has right now. Um, now we see plus two, plus two on the way for our friend Macromaster, and he's actually looking to establish his fall as well. Let's say Macromaster, I said, got a, got a hand to the guy. He's handing on very, very well. And uh, Krios was unable to break him, considering this is actually a Grandmaster level game right now. So anyway, here come the, here come the Hydras. So we're going to have Roach. Infester versus Hydralisk Infester. Now I'd be very interested to see which one will come out on top of this. Obviously Macro Master feels more comfortable with that Infester tech, so we'll be able to use fungal growths and infested terrans, with infested terrans not as effective as they used to be. Um, but here we go, a lot of roaches, big spine crawler wall fourth being set up. Uh, Krios has a huge, huge amount of hydras right now. We have a look at the army value, it's going 131 to 110. Infestors are about to join the fray there we go oh nice burrow coming down possibly get a huge surround here on Krios he just doesn't have an overseer in this mix this could actually really catch him off guard Krios Macro Master really base waiting for that perfect opportunity can he get this big fungal that he's looking for there we go nice fungal going down there on a large chunk of hydras roaches are coming in will he unburrow these now but this is a huge concave for Krios and actually this actually is working against Macro Master right now and all these roaches and hydras are absolutely ripping through the units of Macro Master right now he's retreating behind his uh, big Spine crawler wall, but it doesn't last very long. And the how the hydras, their DPS is absolutely fantastic right now. The upgrades haven't kicked in for Krios right now, but he doesn't have an overseer, so he can't actually regenerate his units here. 15 more roaches are on the way. We've got an overseer morphing in for our friend Krios as well. And there we go. The rest of the roaches are on the way, but of course, these hydras here are so so effective. Don't have any more infestors right now for our Zerg friend either, but Krios is looking for an opportunity to snipe in on this fourth. Roaches are coming in to reinforce. Good concave though from Krios though, and is just ripping apart the... Well, not ripping him apart, should I say, but definitely making him retreat, and he is going to lose the fourth because of that positioning that he got there oh so well. And, uh, yeah, just slowly but surely chipping away at Macro Master. Definitely not down and out right now, but of course... He's got such a prevalent force here. Okay, so we've got more infestors into the mix here right now. Hydralists are finally coming down for Macro Master, but of course with this Sim City here is actually working against him. Infested Terrans are trying to drop down, and there you go. There's the GG, and game number one is taken by Krios. <sighs> oh my God.
So that means I have to go to my little text here. Do do do. Team Gravity one. Eternal Dreamers noir. So uh, 